pressure high in the atmosphere that's working to lift the moisture, uh, get that heat going with the sunshine. You see the clouds bubbling up and the result is this line of thunderstorms and scattered activity that we've had here in our own region. I think we lose that upper feature for tomorrow. It doesn't mean we lose thunderstorms, and I still believe there could be at least a couple that can produce some heavier downpours. But later on tonight, 9 to midnight is when we can see the return of some of those thunderstorms near and north of the tri-state area, and then just some leftover clouds for the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, after a little bit of heating, we'll start to see pop-up showers and storms once again. Forecast and focus tends to carry them in the same territory that we've had them today, mostly near and north of I-10 with some of that activity winding down by the evening. So expect some warm temperatures first thing in the morning. Expect the heat to build, especially in the southeast Big Bend, where we will not have as many thunderstorms. Lower to mid-90s are possible. All of us share in on mid-90s for the weekend in your extended first alert forecast. Morning lows around 72 to 74. Hot and muggy, not too stormy though for Friday and Saturday. Scattered thunderstorms start to return and the coverage increases by this time next week.